The importance of communication with your wife's family when she's abroad. Um, this is extremely important because otherwise, you know where we talk about some of the Western type Filipinos or OFWs in some of these countries like the UK, they can be a bit uh, manipulative and can be a bit of a troublemaker. Um, you can counteract some of this with family involvement because they can actually get thoughts and things from their family. Otherwise what happens is people can become quite isolated and blinkered. Um, this is why Skype's quite important. There's a laptop I got my wife which she, she finds extremely useful for this. It's, it, it's useless for what I do. It can't handle spreadsheets, can't handle the hasty video stuff etc. But it's perfect for Skype and basic computer use. Um, it's also folds right round as a tab which is why it's got double usage suits my wife she can watch our dub and um, do some transcription and stuff on it but for heavy duty stuff it's not a graphics pc it's not a power processor pc it's it's a day-to-day -day use one for the average person in the house might be good for yoga, for example. I think actually I advertise it with some yoga teacher. The because it's not it's not a computer for a computer person. That that's the best way to put it. Um, but the communication is extremely important. Now, one of the things I did was although we we keep in touch with Skype because uh, we do anyway when I'm abroad. Um, I also make sure that my wife's got Skype credit. You think, well, what, what's the point of that? Well, what happens is she will call her mother on her house phone because in the Philippines, you know, my in-laws are a bit older. They don't, they don't want around with a computer switched on or anything like that. So they're from an era that uses telephones. You know, the telephone's going to ring, and they'll go and switch the computer on and go on Skype. So with some Skype credit, what you can do is call her mother on the house house phone and go, hello, yeah, can you go on Skype? And then she'll go on to Skype. These are may seem very, very basic things, but when you're in a new country, it's very important. Now, from a Western perspective, um, mine's probably a bit more isolated than most people, uh, because I've come from a military family, so we used to be mobile, um, so we're not too fussed on... Um, routes and connections because we travel around so much we're not so concerned about it it's why I can live in hotels for long periods of times because it doesn't really bother me it, what bothers me is what I can't spend time with the family but that's only happened since I've sort of settled down but I know a lot of Western guys don't even consider the thoughts of their wives but if you've got this communication going on, they can talk daily, um, they can say, look, the kids are growing up, it works both ways. It's like today my son is communicating on Skype to his cousin and his, my brother-in-law because it's their both birthdays of this weekend. So there's that communication going on with them. The grandparents can see the the grandson growing up, etc. They can talk, and it creates an environment where everyone's actually still in touch with each other. And you you make sure your kids go and say like, go do half an hour with granddad, go and have a chat with granddad for half an hour, and make them do it because it's important that this communication channel is not only open but maintained because it keeps everyone happy. It also means that if somebody's got a problem, they've got somebody to talk to. Um, which, this gets on the communication. Because I get a lot of people contact me relating to issues in their relationships. Um, now, some of these guys should be dealing with themselves. I'm, I'm going to be quite blunt with this. You need to communicate with your partner. It's not for me to do it. Um you need to start saying well what's wrong what's the problem because if you don't they start to drift and it's not drift like run off with the next guy that comes along just to the point they might just say I want to go home I don't want to be here anymore and the problem you get with 
people once they drop into that mentality, it doesn't matter where they are on the planet, it's very hard to reverse it. And this is why I always go, you know, every day, I'll, my wife will say, say sometimes, stop asking me if I'm okay. Because I do it because, A, I'll do it naturally, but B, I reinforce it by making myself, remind myself to say it, just to make sure everything's okay all the time. And that way, if there is something bothering my wife, she'll, she'll tell me. But you know what you know what it's like. It's sometimes you've just got to prompt yourself. Being a guy, we generally don't communicate that well <laughs> sometimes. So it is worth doing this sort of stuff. But also, when you're doing something that affects everybody, ask your wife about it. Don't just go, well, I'm paying the bills, blah, blah, blah. Because your wife's miles away from home. Your wife, if anything, needs to be involved in things that really sometimes don't need to be involved in because it's all about being a family thing. And it's, when I say not needed to be involved, what I mean is it could be a very basic thing that doesn't really matter what anybody says, it's just going to happen anyway. But the fact of being involved and included um, keeps everybody as a family grouping as such, helps create that bond as a family. But one of the key things is keep communication open. Keep communication open with, like I say, things like Skype, making sure everybody's in touch on birthdays, weddings, and everything else, and just try to keep that the flow of things go. Be aware that your partner's miles from home. Be aware that she may be in an environment that doesn't suit her. It suits you. You were in her environment before if you lived in the Philippines. There's a lot of stuff that's done in the Philippines to suit you. Now, you have to accommodate the other way so far. I wouldn't say eat Filipino food every day. I know some guys do, and I'm like, what are you doing? You know, your wife's got to adapt as well. You know, it's a two-way street. <laughs> you know, you don't come to the, the, like, you wouldn't come to Spain just to eat dried fish and pork. You've got to have it two ways. You know, it's like, okay, well, if we're going to have um, some Filipino food on Tuesdays, then... I want some steak on a Friday or something else. You've got to turn around and say, look, come on, play the game. I'll do it, but I need you to do the same. I don't want somebody th throwing a tantrum because I'm making them try new food. We've both got to do this. We've both got to communicate and get everything on the right level because it's what makes a relationship. It's what makes people happy. It's actually understanding each other and communicating. Um, and I say this because I know a lot of people are in relationships that have the potential to go fatally wrong purely because of stuff they're ignoring um, because I know, because I hear from their wives, I hear from themselves some, some, some of the stuff and you're like, you need to sit down and have a look you know, because I've got to admit, I do analyse myself quite regularly um, it's like with my daughter, I was away far too long um, and she, she arrives here in Spain tomorrow but going forward I will never make that mistake again these are the sort of things you know I'm not perfect I'm quite happy to admit it but I need to build those bonds myself so I understand you know I understand when I make mistakes but the whole point is a lot of guys will refuse to actually acknowledge these things and then two years later complaining the wife walked out but if it's actually gave a little early on things would be much happier now and they would still be together but also to find the relationship would work a lot better because when you give you only get back things back tenfold it's it's why um, I don't mind doing charity work and stuff because the reward is not financial it's about something personal you know you it's something within a person you know it's rewarding you you're giving back um, but also you know you're helping somebody else doesn't mean I'll donate money, I'll tell you now I donate money, don't ask me but donate time, you know like with Mingle and Neely where we painted the classroom out that made a big difference for the kids etc that stuff I'll do, but they didn't involve me I went and bought the paints, bought all the paint brushes etc come in at the weekend and painted it, you know, that's, that's me but you say oh I've got a feeding program, just give me some money 
you got no hope. I, I am so tired of the corruption on those sort of things. There is somebody that I do do some feeding programs with, but only to a limited amount, purely because I have a connection with the guy. I know him. He lives in the same community, etc. Um, and he's a fairly good guy, so I don't really have an issue with that. But I won't give randomly to people I have no connection with whatsoever. I've seen the corruption in the Philippines, and basically, you got no hope. All right, thanks for watching.